Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you for the love and the support. So, my beautiful people, this all day, all this video, all this information you are about to hear is going to shock you the moment where somebody is crying bitterly for the PM, which is the person of Mazda Simon Ekpa, that, oh, if it's not for you, what would Biafra have done? Please listen to her and I'll be right back. Our prime, our own prime minister. Mazen Namikano said that some men are born men and some are born males. You were born a man. I call you You know, your speech on the 30th. Do you know since the 30th I have that is among man ge bere ga akwa among man ge eme ge bere it gave me an insight on the load I don't know how you do it now I have an unfinished business with you I'm I'm, the, I'm one of those people that have had an unfinished business with you i was from the onset i was always the one who was if i didn't see you in an hour i will be panicking there was a day you said to me oh my god I got toilet without you checking asking where i am my cpm if you're going to the toilet just send a note that i'm in the toilet you'll be back soon because when Onion Du was kidnapped, I thought I was I thought my heart was going to be ripped out of my heart. The, my chest. And when you came on board, in one of your broadcasts, at the end I was the last person who called you in that broadcast and I asked you, Do you know how much you're loved? You said yes. Do you know? That you are loved. It's not just love. Do you know you weren't you weren't you were you were still a broadcaster? You weren't even a spokesperson then. I said, Do you know how much you're loved? I said, Do you even know that you're the only I that we have? And so when people go without seeing you, they feel blind. We feel blind. There was a day. For 15 hours, I stayed up because you didn't show up on Twitter. For 15 hours, I was recording. And when you showed up on Twitter, I sent you a note on WhatsApp that I had been up for 15 hours with my heart in my hands waiting for you to show back up. So I was always one of those people who rubbed you the wrong way. I was always worried and I know you hated it, you hated it more than it. And I, I sent you a note, I said, PM, I know you hate people worrying about you, but we can't help it. For me personally, I couldn't help it. I said, I know you hate people worrying about you. And I asked you if there is any way that you could tell us how to go about and not worry about you, please. Let us know, but it, it's a it's 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 a feeling that comes on and you don't know how to handle it. And so I and I I think my um, always pushing and I think I must have brought you the wrong way. And here I'm now today before everybody else, and I I say I come with apologies and I say if. Um, you mean so much to us. You mean the world to us. You mean the world to me. You always have from the first day you came on social media, even when Onion Do was here. When Onion Do will start broadcasting and people will call you, call your show and say, Onion Do is online, Onion Do is online. And you will stand up and say, is Onion Do online? People were just being mischievous. 
And if only you do is online, you close up your show and um, you show that respect from day one. And I followed you from that point on till today. And so when Onye was kidnapped, I just wrapped myself around you and um, the worries. So maybe I must have worried too much. My notes to you um, must have just been too annoying. So I, I apologize <laughs> because I was just, I, I, uh, um, I do apologize. Because what would we have done without you? What would we, every day I worry, what would we do without you? What would we what would we have friends do without you? And that was why I was so worried all the time. And um All right, it's, it's okay. We understand. No, we understand I, the... I apologize. I do apologize. I, I, I'm so sorry. There is nothing to apologize. There is nothing to apologize here, please. Okay, so nobody have done any wrong. So we have not done any wrong. There is nothing I to apologize. I, I, I overstepped. I, I did too much, and, I, and I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I did. And so, with my apologies, um, I donate five hundred dollars to say please accept my apologies in front of everybody. And, and, and I want Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to say, tell everybody you've forgiven me because I want you to feel forgiven. I, 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 I offended you, so I want you to tell every dear friend here that you have forgiven me. You, you, you have not offended me, but I forgive you. <laughs> and, uh, for your demand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We go to Uzoma Emedu. Uzoma Emedu, unmute yourself. Uzoma Emedu, you have the mic, please. Am I coming out clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, welcome to our PM. Welcome to New York. Thank you. Greetings. Thank you for all your efforts and all you're doing for your friends. By the grace of God will be there soon. Oh, I was among the victims of the Biafran War. I was a young child when this uh, war started, and I even suffered the Bashiyoko. I was, uh, wow. I, 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 my father is, is in, it was a Nigerian army, and uh, we live in the barracks when they, when, when they were coming and killing Biafran soldiers. A lot of times we had to move to our uncle place in uh, Ikorodu. To, to pass the night. So uh, after a while, we uh, uh, we struggled and went back to, to the east. Uh, I, I know what we went through. So I thank you for your effort to restore Biafra. I was in Finland too, and I saw you. I was so happy. So now we're gonna let that bring us to the end of this update. Do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye bye.